Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I am Shobhi Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager at VMware, responsible for vSphere and anything around AI and ML. In this series, we bring VMware and partner experts to talk about vSphere and associated cloud products. These fabulous experts also share their background, uh, industry trends, general tips for IT professionals, um, and our customers. In today's episode, we have a very special guest today from one of our extremely important partners, NVIDIA, Joe Cullen, technical marketing in engineer. We will discuss why AI is critical to enterprises. Uh, Joe is the AI and ML in-house expert from NVIDIA. Pretty exciting today to work with, talk with Joe because Joe and I worked together for almost a year now, you know, through several launches and, you know, producing website stuff and collateral, et cetera. Um, and I've seen so much, so much of your name in emails, right, in discussions around. So really excited to finally meet you, Joe. Welcome. Hey, Shobit. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm also really excited to be here. Great. Joe, to kick this off, can you please share uh, your background and what you're doing at v NVIDIA today? Most importantly, man, what's your favorite beverage? Sure, I can do both of those. Yeah. So, so I'm a technical marketing engineer at NVIDIA, as you mentioned, where I focus on AI and ML solutions for enterprises. Uh, I create technical assets like demos, deployment guides, uh, sizing guides, that kind of thing. And I've also spent uh, the last two years working with customers directly, helping them build out their POCs and leading into a production deployment, and then subsequently improving those production deployments of AI and ML. And uh, most importantly, I think that my favorite beverage is coffee for sure. But in between cups of coffee, I sip on Plenty of seltzer water. So cheers. Glad to be here. Cheers, buddy. And my I got coffee today too. So with that, um AI and ML has gone mainstream. What use cases of AI, AI and ML do you think customers can go to market today, right? And leverage and kind of improve their environment like right away versus you know this long kind of project which goes on for years. Sure. So start off by saying the customers that I've worked with have really spanned every industry and AI and ML is touching every part of their business. Um, and then there are folks who really don't have any experience with AI and ML. And then there are folks who might have had a little bit of experience. And for the folks who have, are just starting out, um, they might not have the proper developer experience with AI and ML yet. They maybe not have identified uh, the right use case to, um, or the right return on investment. Um, to actually go and, and start a project or finish a project to production. Um, and maybe IT doesn't support the language of the data scientists appropriately, right? So uh, what NVIDIA does is we encourage customers to leverage pre-trained models in this case. So pre-trained models allow customers to uh, take a model from NVIDIA on a place called NGC, which is a repository of AI tools and frameworks and models. And uh, you can pull those down and fine tune them on your own data uh, that's applicable to your use case. And so that really reduces the barrier to entry uh, for, for new customers. And then for folks who are actually out there right now doing AI and ML, a few use cases that stand out in my mind are uh, image segmentation of CT scans. So that's in the healthcare space, right? Um, also in the healthcare space, they're predicting readmission rates from EHR data. Uh, one of my favorite examples of AI adoption was uh, done by a bakery where they used computer vision to improve their product quality. And so I like to say if, if a bakery can do it, uh, anybody can. And so those are a few examples of AI and ML use cases that I think customers can can leverage today quickly. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, the other one that I can think of, right, is something that's been going on forever, right? Fraud detection, credit industry, right? I mean, those are things that are very well developed for like 20, 30, 40 years now, right? So, um, and then let's, let's not start talking about, you know, what's the exciting things that enterprises are working towards uh, right now that you think will come to fruition, let's say two to five year time frame, like a little bit longer time frame. like uh, what's your thoughts around the longer time frame kind of stuff? Sure. So. So there are a lot of enterprises that 
have not fully realized the power that AI and ML can bring to their unstructured data, right? So every enterprise has lots of unstructured data. Some examples would be things like documentation in the form of text, right? Every enterprise has loads of documentation on either their products or their customer interactions. Um, and then they also have tons of data on network traffic from their data center. Right. So if you think about the documentation in forms of text first, you can create chat bots from that documentation uh, that might improve your IT operations. You could improve customer support uh, interactions with those chat bots. Uh, you can also take that documentation and translate it into other languages to reach new markets. Um, and then in terms of the data center network traffic, you can use that data to build models to predict uh, malicious activity that uh, human or products that are out there today uh, aren't capable of doing. So it will really improve security. Um, and then in terms of just like generally about thinking about the models, they will increase in size, right? Uh, things like the hopper architecture will allow for the adoption of large language models. So models will just get bigger and bigger over time. Uh, in addition to that, there will be pipelines that connect models. So models are very good at solving specific problems. Um, and what customers can do is build pipelines of data that will allow those models to achieve specific tasks. And then that pipeline can uh, achieve a higher order task uh, to produce better outcomes. And so this is really gonna produce quite a bit of sprawl in the data center, right? There's gonna be uh, more load on networking, storage and compute and I think NVIDIA is really trying to help customers accommodate this sprawl uh, across the entire data center. Uh, so this is kind of how I see AI and ML adopting, adoption evolving over the next few years. Fantastic. So if I heard you right, right? Unstructured data, data sprawl, uh, you know, kind of distributed architectures a little bit, uh, quite a bit, right? Not a little bit. And then... Um, you know, NLP models and, you know, large complex kind of, the other, the other one that comes to mind, right, is neural networks. I mean, they're all over the place already. Like, what's your thoughts on that, right? Like, do you see, you know, neural net networks continue to become even more powerful, complex? Yeah, so neural networks were really adopted largely throughout the last few years because of their ability to take advantage of GPUs. And so those, those models will continue to be adopted, especially because they're also able to solve problems that are not just language problems, right? You can apply them to other domains as well. Wonderful, wonderful. So we talked a lot about the things that are gonna happen, right? We talked a little, touched a little bit about some of the challenges, the data sprawl, the unstructured data, you know, distributed architecture, et cetera. Uh, it's complex, right? It's really, really complex. Um, what do you think, like, how is this partnership between VMware and NVIDIA so powerful today for enterprises um, in solving their AI problems? Yeah, so, so look, like the last two years, right, NVIDIA and VMware announced a partnership uh, to democratize AI for every enterprise. And that partnership was really centered around bringing customers value by enabling IT departments to offer NVIDIA accelerated resources to their data scientists and AI practitioners. And we've recently worked together to improve on that and for, make further advancements uh, with the release of vSphere 8, uh, which has several important features that are applicable to AI and ML workloads. So uh, two of note are the additional support for uh, accelerators attached to a single virtual machine and the addition of a concept called device groups. Uh, so in regard to the additional accelerator support, vSphere 8 supports up to 32 pass-through devices. This could be GPUs or NICs, uh, as well as uh, up to eight virtual GPUs, which is twice as many as vSphere 7. Uh, so, why is this important? Many AI and ML codes are still running on single nodes or single VMs. And so adding additional GPU compute power to a single VM is an easy way to improve the outcomes of the data prep and training phase of AI. Um, it effectively increases the size of the problem 
that you can tackle uh, in the data prep and training phase. And then for device groups, uh, this is discovered at the hardware layer and is presented to vSphere uh, as a single unit that represents this, this group. And device groups are comprised of two or more hardware devices uh, that are linked together via a common PCI switch, or they share a common interconnect, like two GPUs NV linked together. And so this will make delivering these resources easier for IT admins because they don't have to worry about the underlying topology of the hardware. Uh, and so NVIDIA is in the process of certifying vSphere 8 for uh, NVIDIA AI Enterprise. Uh, so look for an upcoming release of NVIDIA AI Enterprise to, to take a look at these features and, and bring them to your, your environment. Fantastic. So last question. Uh, if a customer wants to try AI modeling today, right, is there a way for them to go do that somewhere like right away without like, you know, spending a lot of money or no money, hopefully? Yeah, so so NVIDIA uh, created a platform called Launchpad. It's, a, it's comprised of data centers all over the world. And we've built out curated labs that you can go try out at no cost. Two that you should take a look at if you're an IT admin are the vSphere one where you build out a virtual machine that's GPU accelerated and uh, the other one where you build out a Tanzu environment that is uh, GPU accelerated. And all of those things, uh, or all of those in environments will allow you to build out price prediction, sentiment analysis, chatbot creation, image classification, object detection, all of which are labs that your AI practitioners and data scientists can also go try out uh, today as well. Fantastic, fantastic. So uh, thank you so, so very much for for joining me today, Joe. That's all the questions I had. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks for having me, Show It was great. And wonderful. Love the conversations. Um, you know, this space is so interesting to me, right? Because I work in this, you know, day in, day out pretty much. So uh, really excited to have you here again, Joe. And with that, we come to the end of this episode. Uh, for the listeners and watchers, if you like this episode, join in for the next one. This is your host, Shobit Bhutani, signing off. Have a fabulous day, evening, night, week. Bye-bye till next time.